Let's see what we get here. So, we have Moran Forest Child, which uh, cancels a special card. Uh, any, oh, only bronze and silver. So, Muzzle is kind of a counter. Choose, create any non-leader unit. It's actually worse than what we are offered right now. So, I think it's either gonna be Muzzle or Moran Forest Child. It's likely that they're gonna play any spell. That makes more and first child decent. However, she can be locked as well, uh, making her not as great. A muzzle could struggle to find good value. However, we can we can also adjust Uma's curse to fit the situation more. Muzzle is tier one. Okay, you guys call it. You guys draft for me. What do we pick? Why not? You guys pick. What do I pick? The one with the most votes. We gotta go with that. Maybe we don't do it for every card. Who knows? Maybe it just take too long. Uma? God Uma? Everyone wants to see Uma. Done. What do we pick now? These are all suck. I, I, I'm voting uh, very clear. Don't say Boulder. We don't have Uma anymore. What? Stop saying Uma. Please, for the love of God, pick the dog. First light. Rock slide, light. Clear sk Okay. You guys don't want me to lose uh, horrendously. <clears throat> okay. I I'm just gonna gently hover under the one I would pick. I, I like the 7 plus 4. <coughs> it looks good to me. We can play an X-Men. What do you say? The retarded seven? <laughs> this one? I don't know. Like I think this is like well, kinda they are they are similar, but the warship is better. The Skellige guy? Because he has extra value with the resurrection. Okay, you guys want the X guy. Sure. I'll take it. Ooh. I I'm thinking we're gonna take Von Hemar here. I'm great guy. I once loved off seven ships with one blow. Okay, F fair enough. Like <clears throat> it's very unlikely that we're gonna see like a um like an X-Men just to get some extra uh value. Uh you guys want wanna see Von Hemar? <clears throat> As many mages as possible. But this is a mage too. <laughs> but yeah, we're picking one Himar. Ooh. I, I think this is a pretty obvious one. Unless you guys really want to gamble here. Sheila? Next to the right guy? Always mage? Equals Verum. What's the tinning here? We don't have tinning here. Oh yeah, the... Oh. Sheila for the thinning, but it's not guaranteed that we're gonna get spells with Sheila. Smuggler is really good. <coughs> <coughs> well, uh, well, we have. I, I'm I'm tempted tempted to pick the Griff here. This is can be argued for if he played early enough, but I think the Arc Griffin is a bit. Uh, more reliable because Vader is kind of a tank. One for Spore, two for Spore, three, three for Spore, and three for Griff. Pretty split uh, on that one. The plant. Four for Spore. Okay, we gotta take the Spore. You guys really want the flower. Uh, I'm thinking we need the, with the removal here. That's the, well, that's the only one that makes sense. So, like, this is really a. Not a tough call here. <coughs> We're to Bracky. More golds? Yeah, we can pray for that. But we have Uma. Skip? Should I, should I skip if this is just like uh, too obvious? Barkley, come on. Take Barkley and hope for doors. 
that's not a good strategy. Is it? I don't I don't think we can justify it. If we if we had that do, if you guys want me to do that, we can do that, but should we do that? Break the contract? Come on. Black League who's OP OP. I know, but like if we don't have a dwarf, it's it's not OP OP. Okay, we gotta take Barclay. And we gotta hope for dwarves. I suppose this is the best one here. Ornamental sword. You definitely get one dwarf. Dragons are bigger than dwarves. Okay. Press exit now. You will take the first dwarf. Okay. Want the ale? Lock. Expired ale. <clears throat> it is a uh, four, uh, like yeah, eighteen at most. Ale eighteen. Yeah, sword is a bit riskier. It's either a uh, bronze plus three or silver plus three. Driving Adam to drink. Sword or lock. They play in two row max. Ah, uh, yeah, that's. That's usually what happens. <clears throat> sword. Take lot. You guys seem to be pretty undecided in th on this one. Most people are traumatized by Nilfgaard alchemy, so they play around there. Okay, we're gonna take the sword for now. <clears throat> Ooh, I think I'm thinking royal decree here for the plus two. <clears throat> what is this? Uh, create a bronze or silver alchemy card. Or play a bronze or silver item from your deck. Is Kian good enough on its own? It's either Kian or Royal Decree. I, I didn't play Kian that much by itself. But a decree is bricked. <laughs> I hope not. Royal Decree was bricked. No codes? Well, so far. But maybe. Maybe we're gonna find something. Synergy with sword? Oh yeah. It, it's true. He's gonna get Sabat, guys. Take Decree. Key and equals free resets. Okay, whatever. We're gonna take the Royal Decree. But yeah, good good point. Pointing out that uh, we have an extra synergy with Kian and the sword. Take the Witcher? Really? Oh, you're talking about the previous one. I, I don't think we're gonna take the Professional here. Gills. What? You wanna take the Professional? Gerald, professional is underrated in the arena. Most of you would want Gels. Gerald, good against Barbie. So what? It looks like a lot of votes for Gels and Gerald. Gerald will always find value. Okay. I guess this is uh, unusual. Uh, I think it, we just gotta take the Rot Tusser here. You already got Decree. No need for Gales. Easy counter for Umbrellet. I suppose. <coughs> the Tusser. Decree into Gales. Equals Dream. Hmm. But gas doesn't necessarily give you a lot of points. It's, it's just a plus one. Yeah, it's, it looks like a pretty easy roster here. Armor man, that, come on, that's that's an eleven. Why would we take that? Left dude again. Why the armor man? It gives armor, but it's an eleven. You guys want to see the armor man? Pokemon? 
<laughs> okay, really? Three gold so far, so sad. <laughs> it's not the best. Bring you and Sabat. Rotasu is fun. I think Rotasu is better. You guys were pretty undecided on that one. I'm thinking the first two are the best options here. Moving around stuff doesn't really matter. This is a 10, this is like an 11. This is a 12 at most. Healing units could be okay, but it's pretty unlikely that it comes up. Armorsmith. Oh, the dwarf! Right! See, dwarf! <laughs> You're right! We gotta pick the dwarf. What the fuck, Barclay Valley? Okay, we're picking the dwarf. Uh, do we pick up another dwarf? Like, this is a pretty set uh, selection. So we're gonna pick up another dwarf here. <clears throat> dwarf number two. Uh, that's kind of crap. I think we gotta pick all the mages. So I guess we're going death modes here. I might just need to make another drink. Clear skies. Mage. Okay. Uh, Margarita. Uh, also, double cross would pick up the dwarf. That's probably not what we want at all. Black blood is a bit tricky. I don't know. Mage. You guys want the lock? Uh, just a sec. Horn? Wait, you're a bit late with that. Black blood or Artuza? Just a sec. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll bring a drink over here. Mage. Okay, we gotta pick the mage. Ooh. Okay, that's that's an easy one. Unless we have a double. We don't have a double. If we see Shoop, we pick Shoop. I think that's pretty obvious here. We see Shoop, we pick Shoop. Always Shoop. Shoop. Ooh, that's a more interesting one. Do we hope for drug value or chancing with that? I think it might need to be Geralt. Just a sec. Pick Miruna. Premium Shoop, of course. Drog. I think, I, I say Geralt is the best. The thing is, uh, why Drog is not gonna be good, is because it's uh, the first two runs are pass-pass. Yeah, Drog is a bit too risky in the round 3 meta, yeah, exactly. Go cool zombie dude. What's the zombie dude? Gain card advantage with Shoop, and then suck him dry. Okay. Drog is 18. If you have a lot of stuff dead. Nobody plays Epidemic in Arena? Of course. That's not a concern. I'm thinking Geralt is the best. However, he's boring, but he's the best. But because of how the game goes, it's it's a pass-pass, first two rounds. So I think we gotta go with Geralt. Oh, that's a more interesting pick. We can actually target Leo, Geralt. You guys gonna say Gaunter. I, I'm, I'm thinking you guys gonna say Gaunter. Gaunter. Is he any good? Gumbo with Gaunter, guess the power of the card he picked to play. Picked to play it. How do you... Odim. My heart's won Gaunter, but he sucks so hard. Gaunter with no balls. <sighs> Man of glass. Not really, also always pick over six. Counter can lose your tournament. Everything is plus six in arena. The thing is, if I pick Gaunter, I would just move again of the way. Leo with Gerald. My heart says Gaunter as well, but he's 
irredeemably bad. Muzzle. Well, we have a decent target there, like Leo, Sheldon, and uh, Geralt. Even Rothser is usable. Alright, let, let's just take Leo here. <clears throat> uh, can be. <coughs> I think Kaeron is the best one here. Kind of works a little bit like Muzzle. Uh, this is too situational. Don't say can be. We can't make can be work. There's no way. There's no chance in hell we can make uh, Kaeron or can be. We gotta take Kaeron. Oh, okay. We start picking up some golds. Last spell we played, last uh, silver bronze spell. That's not gonna work. Also, Hyamar is kind of hard to make work. I think it's gonna be an easy peasy current here. Alright. Goals are coming, guys. Ooh! Double shoop! Can we pick two shoops? I don't think we can pick two shoops. I would pick two shoops. If I could pick two shoops, I would. You guys knew I would, but it's not gonna happen. <clears throat> but Drad could be good as well. Does this work? I don't think it does. Double shoop doesn't work. Because that would be the meta. You would have like 30 shoop decks. That would be the dream. Always shoop. Esco. Always shoop. We can't always shoop. That would break the other shoop as well. No love for the better. Then you say if there is a shoop, we pick shoop. Well, we, we did pick shoop. Why not uh, to draft instead? Good question. Alright. Okay, we gotta pick Esco. Why not? <clears throat> uh, that could be usable. We're gonna use up one bronze. I think we can just pick up the first light. Our bronzes are... Yeah, we can. they can be rallied out right now. I think this is good. Also gives us uh, an extra better clear. Everyone's running uh, clear skies. Freya. I think the first light could be the the justified one here. No, shoot will break. <laughs> no. <coughs> You're right. Okay. My bad. Almost made a mistake there. <laughs> you already have first light. Thanks for telling me that. Maybe the game should show you if you have a duplicate already. If you have a uh, one already, because uh, I'm a noob. I think that's a perfectly good justification right there. <clears throat> okay, let's just pick a Freya. Freya for crazy Marauder synergy. Oh, this is decent, right? Uh, that's not a crazy enough synergy to justify it. But we can pick Vass. Uh, Vass can improve our hand. 100 Thunder, please. Or Thunder for God's sakes. I think it's gonna be a Vess. I, I like picking Vess just to improve the hand. We can bulligan away some uh, crap. Sig is really bad in arena. I know. I wish the uh, Resurrectors made more sense. It's only a bronze soldier. Well, at le least these things are soldiers as well. Teruvial or Vess? Vess clears the mess. Uh, let's just go with Vess. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a pretty easy Cyclops here. We have no other choice at all. Uh, this is bad too. So, do we value like a 10 point? Or I think this is gonna be the Alba Armor Cavalry. Teruvial is a 14. Teruvial lets you hide your points. Uh, 
Oh, I suppose. But you also need to set up like four units for that. I see two good reasons for Vess. Yeah. But on that, she has an extra value as well. Flail for removal. No love for the armor cavalry. Is flail an item? Yeah, it's an item. But that's probably not gonna matter in our deck. So you guys value the removal. Uh, extra... Oh, that's... Should we pick this dwarf, guys? <laughs> probably not. Uh, well, I guess we can pick the Siege Support. Farkir plus uh, Dwarf for 19, uh, 16 points. You could have had Isogrim plus Teruvia for 21 points. Yeah, but we couldn't know that. So, I think Siege Support is the best one here. I already have one of those. I know. We are paying attention. Oh my god, Fortis is amazing. I, I value Fortis as like a tier 0. Uh, Francesca is like tier 1. And this is like just a, a tier 2. This is useful in a round if you need luck. If like, it just gives you like 14. This actually gives you power for later rounds. And this gives you insane power for later rounds. They are kind of like the same in a way. Uh, Francesca mulligans away one of your bronzes for a gold. And uh, you get like a, a plus 9 later. But if you play Foltis right, then you just get... Well, it's kind of like same. So they, they, are, they are very similar in a way. Rado is trashed here. <coughs> so Foltis to Francesca. I think it's gotta be Foltis. He's just so good. He just wins with the games all the time. So it's gotta be Foltis. Foltis always is the man. He's my favorite uh, no round leader. He's a, such a simple leader, but a pretty fun one. Okay, Foltis is the one who's gonna lead this show. What do you guys say? Say predictions right now. Or why do you think Foltis is amazing? Because uh, Arena is usually played in a way that uh, no one knows what the opponent has, what what the strength of the opponent. So the first two runs go usually go pass into your opponent playing a bronze. And your opponent plays a... Your opponent passes next turn, and you play a bronze. So value generation is a lot more valuable. And... Uh, and carrying over points. Uh, having extra points later is also a lot more valuable. Finishers are not as valuable. Only way, if you have a very strong finisher deck, then you know that, okay, I, I kind of want to push for this. and But you also gotta have good tempo. One unseen elder. Um, we wanna send back the dwarfs. We're gonna kick back the marauder. Actually, this is kind of lame. We might just play the marauder and resurrect it. So that has an extra value. Okay. <clears throat> uh, that plant is kind of lame. Whatever. Okay, you play. So he has a leader that doesn't provide any carryover value. It's just good in a long round At last. against the big unit. <sighs> Look alive. Wow, okay. What do we play? I think we just gotta play a... A Silver Skellige unit for now. <coughs> Bow before Nilfgaard's rightful Empress. We can lock that. Not sure what other options we have. Actually, we might want to bluff, buff it. We want to play Foltest at one point anyway. Uh, let's just play Foltest in the back. Press those vermin! What? We didn't buff that? No buff it despise? 
Okay. Yeah, but like the sage. Yeah, he wasn't the best. That's a good point. Good point about Barclay. That we pick Barclay early and we're gonna just play him with any uh, dwarf we find. <clears throat> <coughs> we obviously need to play this guy. Ario's been chosen. The gods speak to him. All right. Maybe take Siri to drain it with Elder. What do you mean, take Siri? Worthing gold uh, deck with Wardancer feels amazing. That's what you got. Uh, congratulations on your nine wins uh, with zero losses. <coughs> I never miss. Um, let's just do the lockup. I'll gladly help if I live to see it. What can I do? But it's not spying anymore. It's very important uh, to note that. What do we do, guys? We can pla pass for plus two. I know that. Yeah, he might just do something dumb. Actually, this could force him to play at least uh, a silver here. <coughs> because in Arena, it's, it's kind of hard to get uh, good value. Wow! I'm really glad to see that. No bad. Fine. I still would like to see some golds here. That's a good good one in the long ground. Hmm. This is a good question. What do we throw away? What do you guys say? Do we throw away the smuggler? I think we need to throw away the smuggler here. It, it has a lot of potential value, but the likely value. It's probably low, as long as he can shut it down. So we need to throw it away. Shoop for carryover? But that's, that doesn't work, guys. We can play the Shoop Knight. And uh, we got a 3 out of 5 odds to get the carryover Shoop. But it doesn't work so, uh, so well. Wes... Why Vess? Show me the coin or sod off. Hmm. Yeah, I actually I could see why Vess would be a good throw away. <clears throat> but we can improve our hand the next turn with it. We can still like we can mulligan, then we can mulligan again with Vess. Hmm. So we can get a Leo, Eskol, Eskol the Pathfinder, Kairan, not Uma's Curse. So we shouldn't play Geralt of Rivia. Uh, we can play one of the dwarves. This is not great. Uh, I've got to get this stinking mess in order. <coughs> but pretty good. It's not that good of a card anyway. Well, it's a 13 right now. A doom anime is. Oh, come on! You got value from my guy.
Do you play any Monster Cards? I'll manage. Don't you fret. Do we wanna mulligan away anything else? That's kind of fine. Anything else we can keep. Alright, more mages. I will not let this become a second Sodom. So we are nuking that right now. Ascal Pathfinder, not so much. I just laser that. Your will be done, sire. Didn't live too long. 18 is not good. 18 is great. Should have picked the ship. Just great. Well, we can play Leo and blow up uh, that one. I think we need to do that. Yeah, there's no other way to do it. <clears throat> Kieran could possibly do it too, but under the very, very. Sp I don't know. That, that's kind of hard to set up. Of course, Shoop can do it too. But I think we just gotta do Leo here. I don't work for free. <coughs> we don't want to deal with that value generation. What about just Frost in the back? Uh, I wanted to save the mage, just in case this happens. Tell me what you've got. That that would be too slow. Well, you mean like uh, Karen Tier? Uh, that, that doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about that too, but Hail it would not fix the situation. Ultimately, we would need to still kill it. There's no monster cards. Oh crap, I need shoop options. It would be a must. It's a must to actually show what options uh, shoop has. Because I need to look it up all the time. <coughs> okay, let's just do a frost. Uh, reset the unit would be quite sick. Duel an enemy, strength itself to 25. Uh, can we at least do damage to not an enemy? No, that's not an option. Maybe we're gonna play it later though. It's enemy only. Geralt the professional is not working so well right now. Destroy enemies with less than four no power. Door is close to me. Mm. Oh, the night is fine. Shoot! Let's play the night. Resilience, dual an enemy, strength on self to twenty five. It just feels a little bit uh, unnecessary. We can just do with some of them. There's no need to take that chance right now. Okay. We're gonna take the 24. Come on. I'm leading by 59. What can he do, really? Can't take it anymore. Well, that certainly is not gonna help. Not your lucky That's pretty savage win, I have to say. No way he can do this. Play Geralt, pro and open end sides. <laughs> Just to help him out. GG!